the dog with Bradley Diamond. And by Bradley Diamond, hand in line with Delco. And the German short head pointer. So our judge is in the ring, John Keane, and the dogs are coming in. This is for the gamekeeper classes. Judge here in the main ring. There's our judge, John Keane. A number of different classes uh, for judging here. We have winners of any variety, pointer setter, HPR, it's Hunt Point Retrieve Dog for the gamekeepers. Trophy, Best English Springer is one of them as well. We also have any variety of gun dog owned by a student gamekeeper for gamekeepers under the age of 25. We also have any other variety retriever. We also have any variety sporting spaniel and any variety gun dog owned by a retired gamekeeper. We have the best Labrador retriever. And, uh, and in comes the Sussex spaniel. We've got the Sussex spaniel coming in now. It's just trying to catch up with where we've reached up to. And <laughs> I think this is from the retired gamekeeper category uh, I'm not quite sure but I think so I think you might well be right this is the retired gamekeeper and it's the Welsh Springer he has so and finally it is our best Labrador retriever and it is Richard Ashcroft with his 80 month old bitch Fern there is the Labrador, just 18 months, has won the best Labrador in the gamekeepers' classes today. It would be interesting to see here the slightly different type of the working gun dogs, often a, a, a little lighter in bone and substance. Interesting, isn't it? Yes. Uh, the, the, the most obvious one I always feel is the Cocker Spaniel. That's the most different between the working and the show version. But, uh, Am I right with that? Is that you agree? Well, Maybe yes, not. Yes, the working cockers are lighter and much more energetic and active, yes. Now, we're going to look at the... This is the, the German short-haired pointer. Now, all, all of these are well experienced working dogs. They have to have uh, owned by gamekeepers or their partners to get into the... to qualify for these classes. Yes, this one's owned by Bradley Diamond, but handled here by Nicole Coe, a dog six years old. And this is a breed which, which the show type and the working type, they can work, you know, a lot of the exhibitors do work their dogs, so the type and quality is the same. Here's the English Springer. Best English Springer Spaniel. This is Teddy, who's nine months old. Owned and handled by uh, Gwyneth Thomas. And uh, Gwyneth is actually an underkeeper on the Ballow shoot in North Wales. He's worked over 10 days last season. Teddy's first year at Crufts. Just a little overawed. And he's used to working on the moors and uh, here he is in a very different atmosphere. Totally foreign to him, I should think. Now uh, this is uh, the winner of the Any Variety Gun Dog owned by a student gamekeeper. Uh, Kirsten Harpham is the uh, owner of Yo-Yo, who's a five-year-old bitch. And here is a breed where there is a great diversity between working type and the show type. Much lighter, lighter bone, lighter in substance, and not the same thickness and of the double coat which we require in the show ring. Kirsten in her first year of a two-year gamekeeping course at Newton Rigg College in Cumbria. Whilst we now look at the flat coat retriever, Rossi here, four-year-old dog owned and shown by Helen Fox. They've just finished a full season of picking up on the Fretwell shoot, which is a keeper by Helen and Paul Drury. And this is lovely quality. This could go straight into the show ring and be highly successful. Beautiful quality and type 
and obviously fit for function. Fit for function, which is what Crofts is about. <laughs> and here's another good one, the Sussex Spaniel, the, the most substantial and lowest ground of the Spaniel family, becoming this rich golden liver colour. It's called Mickey, this one, five-year-old dog. Richard Mace, co-owner with this, and he's the handler. And you, you see you get these shorter legs and longer body, you get a slight rolling movement because of the breed balance. Richard actually is a retired gamekeeper from the Hereford shoot, but uh, the variety, they won any variety sporting spaniel they won there. Now this is our retired it gamekeeper, Dylan it's Thomas. Dylan Thomas, famous yes, poet's yes, name of course. Three-year-old dog, Glen Burroughs Firestarter, it's called Ben. He's been beating and picking up all through last season with Dylan, who's a retired gamekeeper, also from the Ballard shoot uh, in North Wales, which is the same as uh, one of our earlier competitors. And a very nice, rich red and white coat, which is the only colour in which you see this in this breed. And just to get just a little bit overawed in his tail carriage. Third year at Crofts. And the last that we're going to see in competition. This is the best Labrador, 18 month old, it's a young dog, Fern. Just seen a lot of very fine puppies, but this is another one. This is a bitch. Richard Ashcroft is the owner and handler, and he's head keeper and farmer on the Great Holt farm shoot in Hampshire. And we'll, we'll be seeing the best of breeds for all of these breeds later in the Gundog group. And it'll be interesting to see the difference in type. Indeed, it will. Gundog Day here is a wonderful day at Crofts, always pulls a wonderful audience, massive audience, very knowledgeable audience too. John, John, John Keane, our judge, he's not only a field trial judge, but he's a judge of pointers in the show ring. But it'll be interesting to see his perspective of these breeds. He might be looking for something completely different to what a show judge would look for. So, uh, but of course he, will have a, he does have a good knowledge of confirmation and movement and anatomy. He he might be looking of the Scottish Field Trial Association since 1986, my word, and chairman of the Kennel Club uh, Cocker Spaniel Championship as well. Very expert eye. Incidentally, for the remainder of his time, Ian works as a, uh, a news producer for Sky News. Now, this, this, I have to, I have to. I have to say this. Oh, good, he's chosen to the, uh, uh, the flat curly. Yes, well, you said this dog would do well in the show ring, didn't you? Outstanding, outstanding. So in first place there, Helen Fox's dog called Rossi. And second place we have the Labrador. And for third, it's the Welsh Springer Spaniel. Oh, yes. And the Springer. And the Labrador in uh, reserve place, of course, is the, the gun dog owned by a student. And then in third place, we have the uh, Springer in Group 3 for this. The winners of the gamekeeper's classes here at Crufts. Many, many, many congratulations to Helen Fox. So our congratulations to all of the competitors in this, all of the gamekeepers who've been very busy being judged today to get into this ring and a wonderful moment there for Helen Fox. Because in second, this young lady is embarking yes. on a career in the field and a career in the countryside, and we wish you well. Kirsten Harbin and Yo Yo. Kirsten Harbin there, the student, the owner of the Labrador. The man who has supported the second classes so very well indeed all his life. Well done, and it's a great pleasure and honour to have you with us. Dylan Thomas and Ben. So our retired gamekeeper takes group three with the springer there, Ben. So here's a dog with brains and beauty and just shows that show dogs can work and have the natural instinct to work. Beautiful quality. Yes, I'm looking at a very fine show dog there, and we know it's a working, and a working dog. dog. Fantastic.